Okay, so I'm gonna be honest and 100% honest with you guys. I originally was not gonna react to this show. 100%. Um, I was just kind of gonna let this show float on past me. Um, I had zero desires <laughs> to watch this show. I saw Matt Smith was in it, so I was just like, okay, maybe. Maybe, just maybe. And I've heard lots of mixed reviews for House of the Dragon. Oh, by the way, sorry, hi. Hold on. Hi, I'm Brianna, and today we're watching House of the Dragon Season 1, Episode 1, um, The Heirs of the Dragon. Now, okay, back to my monologue. I originally was not going to react to this show. I originally was just going to let it float on by. I wasn't even going to watch it just to watch it, you know? But I've heard... Because my fear was that we were going to get... The House of the Dragon was going to be, like, Game of Thrones ending, season 7. You know, the one that, you know, major controversy, I hated it, la la la. Um, so I truly wasn't interested in it at all. And then uh, it came out. This episode came out last week, I think. Which I feel bad, because I'm watching this show tonight, right? And by the time this goes up, mayhaps Thursday, depending on how fast I edit, I leave this Saturday to go to Oklahoma for a week to watch my niece and nephew, so I won't have a computer <laughs> or anything to edit. So we're gonna be, which I feel bad, because today we watched Flash, Superman, Lois, and the first episode of She-Hulk. So I have to edit those quickly before I leave on Saturday. And so, um, yeah, I feel bad I'm starting this show and then I'm fucking off for a week because I won't have anything until I get back on the third. And so, yeah, again, I think the idea of Matt Smith kind of intrigued my interest a little bit more. Um, and I heard lots of mixed reviews. Like, if it was just going to be like, okay, originally I was like, oh, this is going to be a bad show. I d I'm not really into it. And then, because that's what I was expecting is that people are going to watch it, people are going to hate it. So, like, why would I bother? You know, like, why would I bother myself in watching a shitty show? You know, that's not, why would I react to something that I fucking hate? If you don't have me after the first three episodes, we're done. Like, that, we've done it before where I watched a show. There's been shows where we would watch and we just gave up on it because it just wasn't our cup of tea. Case in point, Once Upon a Time. Case in point, um, The Hundred. And I'm pretty sure a few others. Oh, uh, the big one, Legends of Tomorrow. We don't. We fell off. It. Any hoosies. So I'm just, like, mixed feelings going in because now I'm hearing some people are like holy shit the first episode's great holy fuck this is such a good show and so now I'm like okay who are these people saying that this is a good show who is it is it my friends like people who I kind of trust their opinion or like are my friends not that they're dumb but just like we all have different opinions on this show so I don't know if I'm gonna be reacting to the whole season I think we're gonna play this as it goes um, yeah. Yeah, I think we're just going to play it as it goes. Um, have I seen anything aside from Matt Smith in the wig? No, I have not seen any spoilers. I don't know what's going on. Um, I watched the teaser a while ago because basically this is the fight for the House of the, oh, the House of the Dragon, duh. Um, but I know it's after the death of Aegon and what was... Rhaenyra? Sorry, I have it pulled up because I was just like, I, I have it pulled up like the cast and stuff. So the princess and Aegon, they're fighting over the throne after their father died, right? And so th another, okay, the big, big reason. Okay, I'll tell you the actual reason that I'm watching this show. And <laughs> it's such a stupid reason, but it's true. So Aegon was the name of uh, Anthony's D&D uh, &D character, and he had based it off of, obviously, Game of Thrones in the books. And so, it was our D&D &D game that we played for, like, three, four years, and then with the D&D &D group that I love very, very much, that our, our little D&D &D fam, um, some, some of my best friends, and so Anthony, he played a character, Aegon, he's barbarian, la la la, in there. And so, he, I remember so long ago, he based Aegon off of Aegon the Second for Game of Thrones. And so I saw that uh, it's Aegon and her sister fighting over the throne. Or are they sisters? Her brother, yeah. Over who takes the Iron Throne after the death of their father. So 100% the main reason I'm watching this fucking show is because 
one of the characters is named after our D and D character that we grew up with, not grew up with, that we played with two and a half years. So yeah, go watch our D and D games. We run a few. Um, Forge Through Fire is going on right now, but that's ending soon. I'm going to be starting mine. Uh, it's called Beneath the Mask. It's uh, starting after Forge Through Fire is done over on My Name is Simon's Twitch, and it's also on his YouTube. Um, if you want to watch another really good one, it's called The Bounty's Chase um, over on Torchwood Boy's channel. Um, there's that one. And then I had a mini series on this channel called Under the Veil. It's set in the same world as my upcoming D&D uh, &D campaign. So, yeah. A hundred percent the main reason I'm watching this show is because of our Dungeons and Dragons group and the fact that the main character, Aegon, is named after one of our D&D &D characters. Like, a hundred percent. I'm being completely blunt with you guys. Other than that, I have no interest in the show. But hopefully, after the first episode, it convinces me, you know? So, we shall see. Also, I haven't fixed the issue with my microphone if you noticed on some of my other reactions ever since I got my new setup, because obviously you can tell I'm a little more zoomed out and I don't have horrible angles anymore. So because I'm on a new computer, I got it last month, still figuring it out. Um, I've had a MacBook for seven years and so Windows is very foreign to me, so I don't know all the key commands. And so, um, yeah, my microphone doesn't pick me up all the way. I don't know how to turn off the noise gate. I was able to do it on Zoom, on Skype, on that, on Discord, but for whatever reason, I can't figure it out on OBS. I thought it was a user error, so it is an operation thing or whatever. Simon was trying to help me with it, but alas, it hasn't been fixed. So um, if you see me reacting to something and you can't hear anything, my bad. I do not how whoa. I do not know how to turn off the noise gate. Um, so that's fun. Okay. That's enough bitching, I think. Um, yeah, let's get into House of the Dragon. Other than that, I have no, I don't know anything. I don't have seen any spoilers. Um, yeah, we're just gonna, we're gonna go, we're gonna start this ride, and then we're gonna see how it goes. Who knows? This might be my only reaction. I might only react to two, three episodes. This is literally... We're going to see how this goes, so. Okay, here we, here we go. As so. the first century, the oh, there's no subtitles. Fuck. Came to a close. The health of Sorry, I can't hear without subtitles. Viserys Targaryen. A woman would not inherit the Iron Throne. Oh, we about to change that now, sister. My father. Father? The only thing that could tear down the house of the dragon. Is themselves or the dragon? Oh. Okay, this intro is kind of cool, I'll be honest. 172 years before the death of the Mad King, Eris, and the birth of his daughter, Princess Daenerys Targaryen. 117 years before Daenerys, okay. Whew, that timeline. Oh shit, we flying on dragons in this, cause dragons, there's 10 dragons they said? It's so weird to be back at the Iron Throne. Oh? Hello. Is this a ship blooming? Last time I saw you, it were being destroyed. So fucking weird. This shit was 172 years later, nothing exists. Ew. Oh god. Trauma. Oh wow. There it is, the Iron Throne. Jesus Christ. Is this Matt Smith? If so, sign me the fuck up. It is him. I recognize those ears anywhere. I kind of love her a lot. Ew! This is scut- Or else the uncle will take the throne. What if it's not? It's not. I'm so excited for it to be a girl. I'm gonna laugh so hard if it's a girl. Yeah, she's basically saying oh, this is now or never. And it's gonna be a girl, and I'm gonna die. I just got chills. Why did I? Why did that happen? What's? Is this an uprising? Hey, what's happening? So he took the city watch, and he's like, you know what? Let's go after the assholes. He doesn't still fear in the people. What the fuck? I don't want to see this. Someone was right. He doesn't have a nice ass. 
So he can't fit. No, I'm not continuing this sentence or this thought. That, that was Baratheon? Oh, hell no. Let's take him out now. Let's end it now. Let's end the line before it starts. Here we go. Oh, God. Uh oh, wait, was that good or bad? Childbirth scares the fuck out of me! I don't want to do it! They say it's supposed to be a beautiful thing, but all I've seen it do is hurt people. Or hurt women, especially. And I don't want to do it. It scares the fuck out of me. Something growing in my stomach? Are you kidding me? Uh-uh. I don't like that. It freaks me the fuck out. Oh, I'll do it too. Oh my god, I knew it. Men should not be making decisions for women's bodies. Is Damon about to get his ass handed to him? Or did we introduce this cold dude for him to die? You're not gonna tell her. Don't do this to me. I don't- this is making me so uncomfortable. I already have a thing against birth. I can't do this, I can't do this, I can't do this, I can't do this. <gasps> oh fuck. Cold knocked him on his ass. Ooh! Oh my god, no! Ah, don't show me! <gasps> oh, just kidding. I thought we were gonna have this coal guy live. Is it a boy? I hope after all that it hits a girl. Just to piss him off. <gasps> Ooh, you got bested, bitch. She's finding out about her mom. Uh oh. <gasps> what? The baby died too? Oh my fucking god. Dracarys. An heir. Mm-hmm. Please. Damon has ambition. Oh, he's listening. They're <laughs> talking all this shit. In front well, not in front of him. Yeah. Chill. Which is why I sent for you. What? No, don't do this to me. Don't. No. No, don't do this to me. Ew, you're gonna send your daughter? Don't show me this. I will end this fucking show right now. Thank fuck. Oh. My God. Don't do this to me. I will shut this fucking- I- this will be the last- This will be the first and last episode of React 2. I will end this fucking reaction right here and now. Oh! <gasps> You did- you did have to go and run your mouth. That one's on you. You ran your mouth. Uh-oh, SpaghettiO. Cut himself on his own- Cut himself on his own throne. Did Damon do that to the throne? Did he do that? When he was sitting on the throne, did he do that? Is he about to name her the heir now? Because doesn't Daenerys- she's the first one on the throne, right? Stark! Uh-oh. The Night Walkers. It's the night is dark and full of terrors. I have that book! It's over here! Wait. Where did I put it? Uh-oh. Damon, oh god. You've got this. I'm pretty- not. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. I'm sure everything is going to be fine and dandy and whoa this song I'm not gonna watch any after credit scenes just to like you know so I'm in each episode cuz I think I'll watch episode two um someone sent me the books the Game of Thrones books a long time ago and they're still sitting on my shelf waiting to be read and dead ass I was going to read them 
I kid you not, because I busted them out of storage and I actually had a place for them and they're on my shelf somewhere. See, there's my Lord of the Rings. I need to do a reread because I'm rereading a lot of stuff, like I'm rereading Vampire Academy and then I was going to do Lord of the Rings next because look at this cute box set. Um. Anyway, it's there. I know it is. Um, but part of me is like wondering, should I reread? Should I read Game of Thrones? Because obviously, like, you know, I have no idea what's going to happen with House of the Dragon. And so I'm one of the Game of Thrones watchers that haven't actually read the books. And I don't pretend like I have. Um, so it's interesting how this is all coming about and like how... Because I don't remember much of Game of Thrones. The last few seasons were a mystery to me. <laughs> Not a mystery, but just like, what the fuck just happened? So I don't remember, because I'm pretty sure there hadn't been a woman on the Iron Throne. Blah, blah, blah. But I'm like, a woman heir, that is something that's never been done before. Now, from here to 174 years from now, does that change... I don't remember. Like, it's getting fuzzy for me on how, like, do they recognize Rhaenyra? I don't remember. Like, it's been so long since Game of Thrones. Hold on. Now I need to look it up. How, how long has it been since Game of Thrones? Game of Thrones. Hold on. I spelled Thrones wrong. Finale... Air date. Wait, really? Final episode date was May 19th, 2019. Really? I'm fair. That's 22, 20, 2019. That's three years ago. That's. It feels like a lot longer. It really, really, and truly has. That's. That's crazy to me. What the fuck? So, yeah. Um. Dang, only. Jesus Christ. Anyway. Yeah, three years. What the fuck? Or just over three years. Um, wow, 2019. What a time. <laughs> anyway. Uh, but yeah, no, I... This is interesting. Um, again, I don't know if I... Because, okay. Was it the Legend of the Ten Rings that I saw the tweet about, like, hey, we're not going to shy away from rape. Because to make it realistic or whatever. I don't remember if it, that was said about House of the Dragon or Legend of the Ten Rings. Is that what it's called? Legend. Hold on. Now I have to fact check. Rings of Power. What's the Ten Rings? Am I confusing it with Shang-Chi, Legend of the Ten Rings? Sorry. I'm so sorry. Do not. Do not come for me. Watch the rest of the video before you comment on it. It's the rings of power. That's right. That, that's right, because it was the... Okay, don't come at me, bitches. Don't come at me. Um, so, yeah. I don't remember if it was the rings of power that they said that they were gonna, like not going to shy away from rape or whatever. I'm pretty sure it might be House of the Dragon. I don't know. But based on a couple of those scenes, if that's what, if this is in this show, I'm not, I'm going to stop reacting to it right then and there. I want to watch Rings of Power for sure. I'm just scared and nervous, to be honest. I think I'm nervous for both shows. I don't want them to ruin this experience for me. <laughs> um, but I'll start it and I'll see. Kind of like this, this, this show is a... We're going to see how this goes. And if I'm not feeling it, I'm jumping off ship for sure. And I think that's what it's going to be like for Rings of Power, I'll be honest. Um, yeah, because I saw the teaser trailer for Rings of Power. I'm excited. I really, really am. Again, I'm scared because, like, I really don't remember. I don't remember which the controversy was from, Rings of Power or House of the Dragon. I don't remember. I don't. And I'm trying to remember, but it's just not happening. Um, so yeah, we're going to play both shows by ear. Um, at the moment, we're at a seven for me for the House of the Dragon. It was a very scary episode, I'll be honest. It was a horror episode for me. What are you talking about? Birth scares the fuck out of me. I don't like it. I don't. It's the idea of giving birth and having a kid. Okay, the idea of having a kid 
totally fine. I'm all about adoption and I'll do that way. But just like having something, it freaks me out. Like having something grow inside me for almost a year, for over almost a year. Like that's, that's terrifying to me. And then like the videos of like, you can see like the hand poking through the stomach. I don't want to see that. I don't want to feel that. And then you're supposed to like pop this bitch out and it's supposed to be the worst pain of your life. Are you kidding me right now? Why the fuck would that? That's, that scares the ever living fuck out of me. That's that whole thing. So like having this asshole make the decision for the woman, like, yeah, we're going to cut into you so we can save the baby only for the baby to die like that. Oh, my God, that, that gave me chills and made me sad. And just I don't like it. I didn't like that one bit. <sighs> Hello. No. Now, Prince Damon. Is it Damon or Damien? It's Damon, I think. Prince Damon, he pissed, right? Because he just got a seat taken away from him. So now he's going to be conspiring. Which, it's interesting how... I still only see him as Matt Smith, I'll be honest. <laughs> I, I still only see him as Matt Smith. I don't see... I literally see Matt Smith in a wig. Like, I don't see him as Damon Targaryen. Like... There's a few moments where I'm like, holy shit, Damon Targaryen's fucking crazy. And then, like, I take a good look at his face and I'm like, that's Matt Smith playing dress up. <laughs> Sorry. It's true. At least for me. Don't come at me, dude bros. Please don't come at me for my opinion. Um, it's my, it's an opinion for a reason. It's not fact. You don't have to listen to me at all. It's just my, just, yeah. every, not, not every other reactor is going to have the same opinion as me. And I fully understand that. Anyway, um, so it's, it's. I'm on the fence. I'm on the fence about this show. I really and truly am. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys the next time I watch this episode. Probably not for a few weeks because I'm going to be in Oklahoma. Um, so I will not have a laptop or... I'll have reception. But I won't be able to like access like reacting to... Sh like, I won't be able to... I'll, I won't be able to react to anything. No. So yeah, I'll be back first week of September. And um, I'll decide then if I'm going to be reacting to the rest of the series. Um, keep a lookout on our Twitter and our Instagram and our YouTube uh, community section. I will be updating you guys then. Um, yeah, this was interesting. It's interesting. We'll see. We will see if I continue this. No guarantees. We're just going to ride this train out. And if I want off the ship, I'm jumping. Okay, okay. I will see you guys next time. Um, if you're watching this and you're waiting for our... F okay, if you're watching this, Flash Episode 7 and Superman Lois Episode 6... 5. Episode 5 come out this weekend. And this Saturday it comes out, along with the, the Sandman Episode 4. It comes out Saturday. And Saturday I'm going to be jumping on a plane to Oklahoma and I'll be gone for a week. So uh, anything that's not queued up won't be up. So we reacted to Flash, Superman, Lois, and She-Hulk today. So everything's going to be queued up. So those will be coming out, but we won't be reacting until I get back. Um, so yeah, I think I'll try to leave the camera with the girls. No, I know. Well, there's no point if I leave the camera because they can't edit. Well, there went that plan. All right. Well, so no reactions until I get back. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys when I see you. If you like that video, make sure to like and subscribe. Subscribe to our Patreon where you get our reactions a week early, uncut, before it goes to YouTube. You can book us on Cameo, where you can make Hannah sing happy birthday. I will not be singing happy birthday. You can ask us to say hello, a small reaction request, or make Hannah sing happy birthday. Our merch store is now up with brand new designs coming, as well as our old designs brought to you by My Manic Episodes. Thank you for that. Make sure to check out our OnlyFans. <laughs> Subscribe to our OnlyFans for a different side of fandom reactions. And be sure to follow our Twitter and Instagram at Fandom React Girls for daily updates.